Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect a domain name registered with Namecheap to your Builderall website. So first of all, if you haven't done so, create a new website in a Builderall. So I'm going to Tools and I will select the Cheetah Website Builder. And here I have some test websites and I create a new website by clicking here or clicking here, it doesn't really matter. I select the professional templates and for now I'm just going to select this blank template and I will just go to site settings and I will just change the title and for now I will just leave the rest as it is. Later I can come back and change everything. I click save. We have this default uh, page here. Let's just check it. So we have a sample dummy text here. Uh, this is okay for now. So once uh, we will be able to access our website with the new domain name, we should be able to see this dummy text on the home page. So let's just leave this. And actually, if we just preview the site, we can go here and we see this dummy text here. Okay, let's close this. If we want to assign a domain name to this website, we need to go to domain and here we need to paste the domain name. Okay, make sure you don't include any trailing slash or HTTP, www. If you don't have a domain name, you can click this button and buy, your, buy the domain name but I already registered this domain name on Namecheap and actually this is the purpose of this video to show you how to set that up because if you register the domain name somewhere else then we need to do some extra steps to make sure that the domain name will be pointed to this website. So we add the domain name here and click connect. Yes, I really want to connect this domain name. Click confirm. Builderall provided us with two name server address here. We need to add these name servers to our domain name at Namecheap. So I go over to my Namecheap account and here is my domain name and I need to click manage and here I can find the name server settings. Right now it points to name servers at SiteGround. Obviously, I need to change this. So I copy the first one, come back, paste it here. Then I need to copy the second one, come back here, and we need to save the settings. And basically that's it. We have a notification that DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. In my experience, it should only take uh, a few minutes, but it may happen that it would take a little bit longer. But now we should be able to access the website through this domain name. Probably it's not going to work just yet, but let's try it. Okay, it takes too long, so it's probably not working yet. Yeah, it's not yet okay. So I'm going to stop this video and I will come back when the DNS settings have propagated. So let's try this again. And now it's working. The dummy text is loading. And now you can start building your website. If it doesn't want to load for you and you still not be able to see your website, you can go to this website, gopker.com, and just paste your domain name here, click go. And basically what it does, it will look at your website from different locations. And if you can see that your website is loaded in uh, another location, then you just need to wait a little longer, but if your website doesn't load on either of these locations, then you probably made some mistake and you need to go back and uh, check your name server settings. 
but um, most of the time it's just waiting in and uh, this is actually very simple to do okay there is one more thing i'd like to mention is that here you can see that https is not working on our site so the browser gives us a warning that it's not that the connection is not secure if we go back to our dashboard and we go to dns manager here you will be able to see all your domain names added i only have one added to this uh, uh, account and here at the status you can see that uh, there's an ssl error okay um, and if you hover over this question mark click view details to correct and if we click view details it says the status of the ssl is processing and once started the ssl activation process can take around 30 minutes so it should resolve on its own uh, but it may take some extra time for the ssl certificate to be issued for the site so no worries if this error won't go away uh, you need to contact uh, builder all support and they will help you out here you can also remove this domain if you want you can also manage the dns record so if you go to manage dns you get this warning so if you are not sure how this works then please do not change anything here because you can uh, mess up your whole website but uh, let's just click continue so here are your main dns records normally you shouldn't really do anything here but you may need to add some 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 records for example maybe if you are using some kind of third-party service and you need to confirm that you own this domain you own this website they may ask you to add a, a, te a text record to your uh, dns this is how you can do that so you just click here add you select the record type and then you just uh, add the values to that uh, uh, record but as i said normally you don't really have to do anything here i'm just uh, showing you to that you can do this here but again if you are not sure how this works the best if you don't touch this option if you have any questions please leave a comment below the video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks